Many people across the low country are still recovering from the flooding, of course, that happened in early October. But FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, is still here and trying to educate people and help them get back on their feet. News News Macy McLeod joins us in this studio with more on how you can speak with the FEMA representative in person. And you can do that this weekend, right, Macy? Carolyn, that's right. FEMA is putting flood mitigation experts in local hardware stores this weekend and early next week, so flood victims can receive additional help in the many steps of recovery. They are at an Ace Hardware in Mount Pleasant and Lowe's in West Ashley, answering questions people may have as they continue cleanup and repairs. Anything to do with mitigating their flood situation, that's water evaporation, that's rebuilding, maybe taking out baseboards, the flooring. They're also providing literature about flood insurance, building an emergency kit, and how to pick a reliable contractor. We ask that whoever you hire, make sure that they are vetted. Make sure that maybe friends or family members have worked with these folks before in your community. And if not, check with your Better Business Bureau to make sure that they have the proper credentials so that you can ensure that the work that you need done is done by qualified and professional people. FEMA tells me the mitigation specialists often have a construction or architecture background, so they have the knowledge to answer many of these questions, and if not, can point you in the right direction. We've seen roughly over 100 people in the last two days uh, and counseled roughly over 30. It's been a good turnout for Mount Pleasant. They weren't as affected as some of the other areas like Columbia and North Charleston and Somerville, but for Mount Pleasant, it's been really great. And the deadline to register for FEMA for flood damage is December 4th. For more information about the times and locations for FEMA at Low Country Hardware Stores, head online to countonto.com. Macy McLeod, News 2.